extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. And they're not making a secret of it. The right-wing controlled Supreme Court may be poised to rule on giving state legislatures, yes, you heard me that correctly, state legislatures the power to overturn presidential elections. Just think, if that happens, the 2024 presidential election could be decided not by the popular vote or even by the anachronistic electoral college, but by state legislatures. Whenever you see me, just know that means there's more things to talk about. So, of course, the Wicked Witch of the North, East, South, and West of all of the Earths and realms combined decided to come out and say that when 2024 comes along, oh, just expect there to be a steal, correct? Well, the funny thing is, the intelligent, smart people already know that that is called projection. You project onto others what you're doing or what you plan to do. That's projection. Now, we've seen this plenty of times. This is all they do, always. For there to be this whole term, election denier, which, you know, they just love to put names on people. This is part, part of propaganda. But the whole term election denier is now being thrown at Hillary, which rightfully so. I mean, she is like the ultimate election denier of all time. The only difference is that when she denies an election, it actually went that way moving on i think one thing a lot of people overstep is a lot of the things that are said so we've had this ringworm known as the president say that it didn't matter about the vote it mattered who counted the vote well that sounds highly familiar to joseph stalin you know that a uh, dictator totalitarian that is the same exact thing that he said. It did not matter who votes because they don't decide anything. It's the people who count the vote who decides everything. Pretty much spouting the same exact rhetoric as Joseph Stalin is what Biden did. And he utilized the, this whole idea that people weren't allowed to vote or their right to vote was being taken away, which of course we all know is bull shit. say it with me class now everything that they are talking about and doing in terms of their projection is exactly what they plan to do that is the point of the projection so once they project it onto another party or other people you're now going to believe that when things go down it was that other person or that other party that was guilty of doing this thing that was said about them. And so since it's 2022 and it's midterms, that when things and if things go the way they should go, then what's gonna happen is they're gonna say, see, I told you, they plan on committing the robbery, basically. We all know what that is. YouTube won't allow us to say certain things because <coughs> communism, make no mistake that all of this stuff is scripted and all this stuff is planned to the point to where it is a mind game. And I really don't know why. I, I can't, I really wanna know why I still see Hillary. She's like 75 years old. Nobody likes her. Nobody wants her around. She's like that gnat at a barbecue that just won't go away. It just keeps flying around as soon as you have your plate full of food and here it goes flying around everywhere right in your face you just try to spot that shit and you can't you can't get it that's hillary clinton basically in a nutshell my she seems to talk more than bill does like where's bill at on epstein's island i don't know but i know for damn sure that i don't want to see her anymore in anything ever go away no one likes you when it comes to their little election denier term this is all I see. So you see this article with Carrie Lake and it's talking about election denier, Carrie Lake, election denier. They wanna implant this term into your mind so bad because it paints them as if they are this specific type of person or you know entity, whatever, like they're a bad person. It's the same way they, they utilize the term Trump supporter. 
Trump supporter, when you hear that, you think somebody who's bad or somebody who's white supremacist. It is literally all a play on words and a mind game. And what's funny is Hillary can get on there and say this, but if you get on here and question the 2020 election, then automatic you get a strike and your channel can get taken down. But she can be here all day and say that, oh, well, the 2024, an election that has not even happened yet, she's already trying to say that it's up for grabs, that there's gonna be a robbery, basically, a steal. I don't even know if I can say that because YouTube is probably just gonna, you know, they don't like when you, when you use those terminologies together. My point is, number one, go away Hillary Clinton. Please, for the love of God, go away. Nobody wants to see you on TV. Nobody wants to see you on Jimmy Kimmel, if anybody watches that. Nobody wants to see you anymore. Please go away. And then number two, if you're going to use the term and the terminology, election denier, then that literally needs to play on all of the Democrats who said that Trump was an illegitimate president. That needs to go both ways. You can't just pick and choose what is what and who is who and why is why. That's ridiculous. To end this video on a good note, Hillary's not president, she never will be president, and that's democracy for you.